Hello everybody, this is Beth back again with another video and this time we're going to be talking about sketching your favorite subjects in pen and ink. Now this book is by Claudia Nice. I'm guessing that's how you pronounce it. I mean, she's Indian, I'm not really sure. But she is a self-taught artist who specializes in ink, watercolor, and oil painting types of arts. But she lives in Oregon. Now, the general overview of what I liked about her book is it has a good use of examples and how-tos. Uh, it is more towards realism type styles. And obviously the mediums that you're going to be using here is pen and ink. But it focuses a lot more on basic sketching and speed. And as you progress throughout the book, it starts to bring that out a little bit more than in the beginning chapters. But without further ado, let's go ahead and start. We'll start with chapter one. And of course, as always, they're gonna have the materials page. She talks about the different pens, inks, and other similar materials. Uh, she even includes how to take care of them what paper you can use for which ink or pen or whatever. Uh, I found that to be really cool, consider, you know, because I'm kind of wanting to start trying to do more things with inks and pens, and I found that to be really cool. Chapter 2, Strokes and Marks. This is where it goes into a little bit of the different kinds of strokes, uh, marks, like line drawings, stipling, and stuff like that, and how to use different techniques to create certain textures and that was really cool and real insightful and this one was how to create contrast and values using different lines and techniques I always thought it was kind of odd how you would be able to do like values and techniques with just an ink pen considering that you can't really you know blend it or anything like that but when I went through these, and like it shows here on this diagram, some of the techniques, and you can see it changes based on the style that you do. And I thought that was really cool and insightful. And then this one's design and comp composition. How to place to your subjects that you're wanting to draw on the paper to help balance it out. And it gives examples like the two trees in the middle, perfectly balanced two trees to the left, it's unbalanced, or the three trees, two on either side and then one kind of in the middle, how it creates an imperfect balance, but yet it still looks pleasing to the eye. And chapter five is selecting and drawing your subject. And here she talks a little bit about, you know, learning how to pick your subject based on your skill level. And into the chapter she uses grids and talks about how to use perspective to be able to draw that subject properly. And chapter six, sketching plants, flowers, bushes, shrubs, and different techniques that you would use to create like the soft stipling to make the soft velvety look of a rose flower and lines to create the the bright and obvious tones, contrasting tones of a sunflower. It w it's really neat when you really look into it and read and see how each technique can really make a difference for each thing. And then chapter seven is earth and sky. Sketch, learn how to sketch rocks, mountains, hills, clouds, skies and various other backgrounds and landscapes. And that I really appreciated because trying to differentiate, sorry, rocks and, you know, trying to get the colors and stuff to make it where it looks like actual rocks instead of just a lump of something there is, I've had trouble with in the past. So I really appreciated that. And then sketching water, how to, again, how to use techniques and stuff to create water from from drops to ocean waves and waterfalls and then houses and buildings chapter nine this goes more into the perspective side of it 
But she also goes into detail about how to use certain lines to create certain textures for different materials from wood to brick to shingling and stuff like that. But she also teaches examples of how to do it freehanded and with a ruler to be more architecturally correct. And then chapter 10 is sketching animals. And this chapter at first it goes into like the, as you can see, the skeletals systems and the body structure of different animals and how knowing that structure can affect the way you draw animals and you also learn how to do eyes, noses, feet, fur, and the, know what textures to use for what there also. And some more examples as you can see. And then this one's sketching birds. The other, chapter 11, uh, you go into basically the same as chapter 10. First you learn their anatomy and then you learn to do, you know, feet, faces, and feathers. Because doing feathers is not very much different, but it does have some subtle differences from fur. And then chapter 12, faces and figures, has basic start up right here but this is learning techniques which will give uh, whatever look it is that you're trying to make for that desired portrait like especially with expressions and stuff that can be kind of difficult so she goes into a little bit more details on that and also a little bit of advice on how to do the figure I can see a little bit it's like the textures for the age to differentiate ages from young to old and it's just some of her artwork, and like I said, a little bit of advice and how-tos on the human figure. And some more of her artwork. And that is basically it for this book. And of course, some other titles that she's done down here. Uh, like I said, she specializes in pens, inks, watercolors, are her main thing that she usually likes to sketch with but she also is known for her oil paintings as well I do not know if she has a book about her oils and tips for that but if that's something you would like to see like me to review or be interested in let me know in the comments below uh, like I said in my last video if you have any personal requests for a certain book or anything please let me know and I will see what I can do about getting it and putting it up as the next possible review. Again, questions, comments, concerns, let me know. And that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed and have a good day.